life on the Red Horse Ranch. The boys at the Red Horse Ranch are still talking about what a great time they had at the barn dance. One subject of conversation is about a stranger by the name of Steve Bradford, who has just come into the country and bought the Bardi Ranch, which adjoins the Red Horse Ranch. And today, after a hard day's work, the boys are enjoying their favorite pastime, singing. If you're safe alone, leave my old parents, my house and my home. Better leave my old parents, you cause me to roam. I'm a lone drifting cowboy, the range is my home. They say I drink whiskey, my money's my own. And them that don't like me can leave me alone. I'll eat when I'm hungry, I'll drink when I'm dry. And when I get thirsty, I'll lay down and cry. It's beefsteak when I'm hungry and whiskey when I'm dry. It's greenbacks when I'm hard up and heaven when I die. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get rye whiskey, I surely will die. <laughs> hey, Tenderfoot, keep a hold of that fiddle. We ain't through singing yet. Well, if you don't mind, Bob, I think I'll hit the bunk early. Oh, it ain't near dark yet. Oh, well. We don't have to get up till 4.30 in the morning. 4.30. Uh, do we brand calves again tomorrow? That's what Alabama said. Wrestling with them snorting yearlings ain't so easy, is it? No, not for a mail order cowboy like Tenderfoot. They <laughs> hey, listen, take it, all right. Go. Then lay off a Tenderfoot, won't you, boys? You know he's worked right along with every man in this outfit today. Give him a chance. Oh, will that's you? all right, Tex. I'm gonna learn this business someday. Yeah, I figure you'd better if you get anywhere with Miss Rose. She likes her men strong and tough, like that Steve Bradford that was shining up to her at the dance the other yeah, night. Bradford. Oh, yeah, the stranger that bought the bar D. Rand. Yeah, he ain't no more a cow man than Miss Rose herself. One look at him would show he's never had her open his hand in his life. Yeah. I noticed that too, Idaho. He must count on taking a throw at ranching. I hear he's bought some other land around here too. Oh. Well, what's on your mind, Cookie? It's a bomb. Yeah. I expect you better do something about Mr. Alabama. About Alabama? Uh, Anything the matter with him, Cookie? That's what I was trying to make out. I sure is powerful worried about him, I was telling you. Well, I saw Alabama down the corral a minute ago. Yes, and he's still there. Except for a trip to the Chuck house for some stale biscuits. Oh, I know what you mean now. He's down there in the corral feeding them biscuits to that Roan horse right now. <laughs> Say, if that Roan's eating any biscuits you made, Cookie, he'll be dead by morning. Come <laughs> <laughs> along with you, boy. I was telling you there's something wrong with Alabama. He sit down there all alone talking to that Bronco horse. <laughs> And then he put the saddle on it and tighten up the cinches. And then what do we do but take the saddle right off from that horse again without never trying to ride it? <laughs> and that, that ain't the first time he oh, do it, neither. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Alabama thinks he's making friends with Red. But you just wait till he tries to straddle that pony. Yeah, just the same. Good. I've got to see this. 
I tell you, bring your guitar along, Tex. All right. Let's slip up on him and joke him a little, shall we? Yeah, that's that's good good idea, Where is he, Cookie? Well, I'll show you, see. There he is. Just talking his head off to that well, red. Don't no look right to me. Come on. Don't let him know you're coming. Sure. By golly, he has got that roll eating right out of his hand. Shh. Come on, baby. Just a little closer. Old Alabama won't hurt you none. C come on, boy. Easy now. All right, boys. Let's go. Oh, that's the roll. Hey, hey, hey. What in tarnation oh, you fellas roll. come from? Now huh, you went and scared Red Drum to death. <laughs> Ma'am, you are wasting your time on that horse. Yeah. I'll bet the best rider in the West couldn't tame him. Yeah. You come down here with me in a couple of days, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Tex will be writing some new words to that yeah. Strawberry yeah. Roan song. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll bet it'll go something like this, too. And the foolin' I'll say this pony could step Still settin' tighter, earnin' a rep When my stirrups I lose and also my hat I started pullin' leather as blind as a bat He makes one more jump, he was headed up high Leave me settin' on air way up in the sky Guess I turned over twice, came back to the earth I started in cussin' the day of his birth Oh, that's strawberry roll Went toward the east, came down toward the west. To stay in this middle, I was doing my best. On oh, that strawberry roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dex forgot to mention the liniment and splints, Alabama. <laughs> well, anyhow, you boys have got something to look forward to. I'm going to straddle Red, and I'm going to ride him. But come on, there's no use of me trying to do anything more with him tonight. Oh, Lordy, here come Mr. Carter. Uh -oh. He'll skin me alive. Cookie, Cookie! Yes, Did you finish cutting that side of bacon like I told you? I was practically finished, Mr. Carter. I was practically <laughs> <laughs> Alabama. Yes, sir? I'd like to talk with you a little. Oh, sure, Mr. Carter. I'll be right with you. I'll be back before long, boys. Sure, we'll be out here singing a little. Um, well, what's on your mind, Dad? Alabama, do you know anything about this uh, Steve Bradford that's just moved on to the bar, D? Why, nothing more than you do. I ain't seen much of him since the dance up at the house. I hear he's bought out two or three ranches in the country. Yeah. Paid cash for my hair. Wish I knew more about him, where he come from, and what he's here for, and all that. Uh, you mean because of Rose? No, I, I figure Rose knows how to take care of herself. It's about the Red Horse Ranch. Sure rat. enough? You been talking to him? Yes. Alabama Steve Bradford's made me a cash offer for the Red Horse outfit. Uh... He wants to buy this ranch? Yes, he didn't offer me much, but, well, it's a chance for me to sell. Tim Jones from the bank was out again today and says he's not going to renew his loan on the ranch this spring. Say, Bradford is going in for ranching in a big way, ain't he? Yeah. Rose know anything about this, Dad? No. No, I ain't told her yet, I... Well, I just can't seem to make up my mind. If her mother was with us, why, I could ask her, but uh, she's gone Well, I, I sure wish you'd wait a little while. Something may turn up. Well, I don't know. I may not get another offer. Well, you know, this outfit's sticking by you, every one of us. Oh. I tell you, Dad, you're letting this worry you too much. Come on down to the bunkhouse. We'll have the boys cheer us up a bit. Well, might as well, I guess. Their singing is right pretty. Oh, yes. And riding this to you. Keep dreaming of me, sweetheart Sally. For soon, dear, your skies will be Sally.
Let's say, boys, uh, uh, lay off of that slow stuff and give us a fast one, all of you. Oh, sure will. Come on, Montana, and light yeah. into that squeeze box. Uh, yeah. Let's hear all of you go to town. Oh, I'll tell you, get your axes and cut down that old oh, pine yeah. tree. <laughs> The old pine tree, and they hauled it away to the mill to make a coffin of pine for that sweetheart of mine. They cut down the old pine tree, but she's not alone in her grave tonight, for it's there my heart will always be. Though we drifted apart, still they cut down my heart when they cut down the old pine tree. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, boys. I think I can sleep on that one. Uh, good night to you all. Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night. Uh, What's on the boss's mind, Alabama? Plenty, Tenderfoot. You remember this Steve Bradford that just bought out the Bar D? Sure. Well, he's wanting to buy the Red Horse outfit Red now. Horse. To buy this ranch? This ranch. Well, by Jack, there's something powerful strange about that, Bradford, wanting all the land around here. Well, Idaho... Uh, you better keep your thoughts to yourself. Boys, if we get finished with the branding tomorrow, we'd better turn in. You mind pulling off my boots for me, Tex? keep your thoughts to yourself. What does Alabama mean? And what about Steve Bradford? Will Dad Carter really sell him the Red Horse Ranch? And what does Steve want with all this land? That's worth finding out, isn't it? Well, let's be sure to listen for the next episode of Life on Red Horse Ranch. <laughs>